Okay, so uh, we have too much time, like seven minutes is too much. We, in four minutes, we can die. But I still want you to have questions. So I'll come with some crazy ideas, but I want you to think about it. So um, education is boring in general, irrelevant, and kind of like it's a big challenge for us. And uh, you might find strange that I'm coming with a proposal for many of you which are professors to think about it. We need to bring natureness to unnatural, uh, synthetic kind of way of thinking. And galaxy is one of the most powerful opportunity we might have. Why is that? Because we can bring together different type of students in a room and keep them for a semester and give them credits for three different disciplines and have them work in a real life environment. And I will show you three proposals and I would like you to uh, feedback for any crazy idea. But there is another one. Um, can you imagine that somebody at the other end of the world can look at your DNA? I think this is absolutely crazy. So if you can imagine the cure for cancer for an American will come from somebody in Bangladesh in their free time. I'm exaggerating a bit just to make a point here. Uh, so it wouldn't be possible without, uh, without uh, uh, it seems that galaxy is one of opening. So uh, we can revolutionize education by bringing natureness to a curriculum. And I will show you how, how that can be done in four minutes or less. Uh, then this remote access and uh, opportunity to, to, to really um, do research is unparalleled, I think. And we were talking yesterday about citizenship, citizen, citizen type of uh, um, um, research. I don't think that's crazy anymore. It's almost closed. So that's the cusp. So let's go for uh, three, uh, three proposals, or like a proposal for a curriculum based on three kind of like concepts. Uh, looking at DNA sequence uh, in, let's say, if you want to cure aging, like super centenarians and normal, finding single nucleotide polymorphisms. That's the first panel. Uh, and using galaxy and so on. Uh, and you can do pharmacogenomics and some other kind of research. And um, second, you can take those findings and look at gene expression and so on. And the third one, you can do molecular dynamics, the proteins and which you find significant. You can uh, use Autodoc, for example, to kind of like look for fit and so on. But I'm going just to briefly go, since I have only like 30 seconds left, I'm going to go over the first um, option and why is that important. So. Um, that's the scientific objective. So imagine in an undergrad, you can have meaningful output uh, because you can have access now to, G to different type of databases with real data from experiments which are millions of dollars. And your students, you can cure aging or cancer at Vinona State University. So it's not too crazy. So what it means that you can use Galaxy and you can bring together different type of students. I don't know if I have a pointer here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but of course everybody knows here they are, uh, they are experts on it. But imagine that you, you have the IT infrastructure and you can involve um, computer students to provide the infrastructure. Then you can get statistics students and then the biology students to do the analysis. So imagine that if you have a curriculum where all students for one semester, these three categories of students work together is more natural. This is what happens mostly in production and so on. And you can give them credits for different type of uh, activities. So like computer students will learn virtualization and cloud computing, Galaxy, PostgreSQL database, and so on. So, um, and the biology students will learn also some tools. So this is very natural. I don't know why current curriculums take you from French to chemistry and to some kind of a history of, you know, like, and it is brain damaging, but this will be a project where people can really have output. And it's very simple. It's open source based, nothing, it doesn't cost. There are a few challenges and I will, I have to pay attention how many minutes I have left. But the bottom line is that the students, I tried with a very, at very small scale, and a registered nurse ended up doing Python or Linux administration as good as anybody else. So I think um, it's possible. It's not too crazy. Uh, so the bottom line is that you can get the results and 
students can learn Python, whatever tools are there, and they can have real output. Two minutes, okay, so I'm almost done. So who cares about this? You can do it. I think most of you here are professors, and you can go and create a curriculum in your college and do a course which can integrate and have some real readout. And I don't know how many undergrad students are here. So what are the challenges? I have one minute left. Um, there are challenges. Faculty, for example, you need a project management. Okay, there are enterprise resource planning, which is open source, and I will talk to you about that in like five seconds. There is uh, IT infrastructure, expensive. It's not anymore that big deal. Most universities have some kind of uh, uh, architecture, and all the tools we were talking today are open source. Then we have um, uh, uh, educational uh, course management system, EDX, Moodle is open source. And uh, of course, there are some other kind of tools there. So all these challenges are really not anymore that uh, challenging. It's just you putting together a curriculum which is uh, possible. So, and all these tools, uh, you should always think that, um, I mean, I don't want to make any uh, assumptions or anything, but uh, I, I know how to do all these tools, and most people can do it at very cheap. I mean, think of Mother Teresa to some extent having these tools ready. So um, that's all what I wanted to say. Um, if you have any questions, I would be more than glad to answer. I'd like to thank Ellie. Thank do we have any questions, especially from educators in the audience? Uh, what, um, what do you think are some of the challenges around making a curricula accessible? You've lined up, outlined a lot of the specific challenges. Um, I wonder if there's a way you might kind of um, delineate the steps and crowdsource some of that to have sort of a big goal broken down into smaller tasks that many people can participate in and make progress that way. Yes, and uh, if you have a project management, you can ensure continuity too because you can mix actually students from different years and it's kind of like a hand over the project. And if you have a project management, you, there is a continuity and coherence in, the, in this and there is a osmosis. The students can learn from each other. It's not that really difficult, and they feel more natural, not bored, and so on. Um, I, I think that is not difficult, but because the universities have silos, everything. I mean, we have statisticians in like 10 miles from biologists. That's not natural, I think, anyhow. <laughs>